Hi, Year Nines. Um, it was good to see some of you at the um, Zoom meetings last um, couple of weeks ago. Uh, try and do another one this week and see if we can get a few more people. So we are moving to the last section of um, tropical rainforests and looking at how we can manage tropical rainforests. So how we can make sure that they uh, not too much deforestation takes place and that we don't lose all the great things that they provide us. Um, so how can we protect them, manage them and use them in a sustainable way? So the first thing I'd like you to do is if you turn to page uh, 49 in your um, booklet or go to page 49 and you'll see that there's a big top hat. And in that hat, I want you to try and think, how is the rainforest valuable to us? OK, so try and uh, note down uh, mind map every way globally, locally that it is useful, that we use it, that it protects us. So think about things like climate change, but also the services and the goods that it provides. So lots of ideas. And if you look um, below, obviously, there are some some ideas to help with that. OK, so the first thing I want you to do is that um, just take a few minutes on it and try and add as much detail as possible. Once you've done that, we're going to go on and look at um, how we can manage the tropical rainforest sustainably. OK, so we're going to look at some different ways that you can do that. We're going to think about the advantages and disadvantages of the different strategy, strategies and um, try and think which might be the best one. So first of all, we will remind ourselves what sustainable means. Um, and if you could just copy down this definition next to the top hat on page 49. So remember, sustainable is all about meeting the needs of people now without damaging the needs of people in the future. OK, so in terms of this, we mean um, we don't want to use up all the goods and services in the rainforest, cut down the trees, um, use it for wood, use it for agriculture so that we've got what we need. And that means that in the future, um, people will not be able to have um, the same benefits from it. And obviously, we may have also caused damage to the world through um, global warming and climate change as well. OK, so if you just write down that um, next to the big, big hat on page 49. OK, so the main thing um, we'll be doing during this lesson is using the information on pages uh, 50 253, 51, 52, 53. So I want you to carefully read through that. And then what you're going to do with that information is you're going to need seven colours. OK, so using pencil crayons is fine or if you've got seven different highlighters. And I want you to try and shade each of the strategies that are mentioned um, next to me here. So selective logging, replanting trees, ecotourism, national parks, education, international hardwood agreements and reducing debt. So where it talks about them in the text, I want you to highlight the information about each one. OK, so for example, wherever it says selective logging and it talks about what that is, you will highlight it one colour. Then you will move on and where you see information about replanting trees, you'll highlight that a different colour. And once you've identified that in the text and read about it, I want you to try and summarise that information. So you can either do this on the table on page 53, 54, or you can use the one that's on the slide seven, a couple of slides on. OK, so you can use it um, one way or the other. And what you need to do is you put the name of the strategy and briefly what it is. So replanting trees, for example, you might write replanting trees. This is where um, for every tree that is taken away, there are more replanted, two or three replanted. OK, so briefly, just explain what that is. And then I want you to say what the advantage of that is. So obviously replacing trees that have been taken away um, means that they can continue to grow and continue to photosynthesize. And a disadvantage, so using the replanting trees example, obviously this advantage would be that it might take a long time or will take a long time for those trees to grow. Um, so they won't be producing as much carbon dioxide. It won't be as such an effective carbon sink. Also, are we replacing the same sort of trees? So if we cut down primary rainforest, these amazing rainforest trees and replace them with less good quality trees, just so that we can say that we are replanting trees and being sustainable, that's not um, a solution. OK, so think about what the pros and the cons are. 
Okay, so for each one, what is the strategy? Describe it briefly, an advantage and a disadvantage. So once you've done that, you should then be able to answer the questions, uh, the two questions on page 54 and 55. So 54 question is fairly straightforward. The one on page 55, um, if you have a look here, it's one of those to what extent questions. It's a six mark question, so you'll need two P paragraphs and a concluding um, sentence. And you're thinking to what extent, so that's weighing up, is selective logging more effective than reducing debt? Okay, so you'll need to think about the benefits of selective logging um, and talk about that in, in a paragraph and then what might the negatives be? Okay, so weighing up those two different strategies for sustainable um, management of the rainforest. Okay, so you can use this slide here to help with that question. Okay, and then um, what I want you to then do is have a look on the very back page um, sorry, no, before that, what I want you to do is then decide on one of the strategies, choose one of them, and create a revision um, piece about it. So it could be um, a mind map, or it could be a poster, or it could be a news article about one of the strategies. Okay, so it might be selective logging that you choose, or ecotourism. Okay, and in that you're going to be trying to say what the what it is in more detail, what the benefits are, and what the problems might be. Okay, once you've done that, we have finished and covered the tropical rainforest topic but we obviously want to then think how confident am i with it okay so there's a chance for you to go back over everything and decide which areas are your strengths and which are your weaknesses so on the very back page you've got a personal learning checklist and i want you to rag rate your confidence with each of the sections we've covered okay so using a red amber and green pen um, you're going to go through um, and decide am i very weak, you know, I don't really understand this, I need to go back over it. I'm okay, but it needs a bit of revision or absolutely confident with it. Okay, and then for one of the areas that you've decided that you are weaker on, so one of your weaker areas, I want you to go back, um, revise it, create a piece of revision for it, and submit that um, along with your work and obviously showing me your completed PLC on the back page. Okay. Um, and then finally, your final bit of work, because obviously this is just one lesson um, for this fortnight. I have also set you a Seneca learning assignment to complete, which sort of summarizes this topic. OK, so um, if you go to Seneca, check your login, you should be able to go to the actual assignment. Don't do a general one. Go to, into the assignment I have set um, and complete that. And if you've got any problems, as usual, just email me and I can show you where everything is and I can help you with any questions you've got. OK. All right, guys, um, I hope you've had a good half term. And like I say, I'll try and arrange a Zoom meeting soon so we can have a catch up. All right. See you later. Bye.